Well, hi, I'm Michael Packold. I'm a Damon Runyon postdoctoral fellow in the laboratories of David Sabatini at the Whitehead Institute at MIT and in Nathaniel Gray's lab at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. I'm also a instructor in radiation oncology at the Dana-Farber where I see patients. So I'm interested in cancer metabolism. It's basically the phenomenon that cancer cells can pretty much build all of their building blocks from just a few nutrients. And that self-sufficiency is also their Achilles heel, if you will. There are drugs that actually block these metabolic pathways that have been in use since the 1950s and 1960s and that were some of the first drugs. And development of these drugs has sort of fallen off in recent years. And I'm interested in making more. I find cancer metabolism incredibly fascinating. There are 2,000 metabolic enzymes in cancer and we have inhibitors for less than 10% of them. So we're hoping to find inhibitors of an enzyme called phosphoglycerate dehydrogenase. And it turns out this enzyme is really important in the survival and proliferation of ER negative breast cancer cells. I hope that inhibitors of this enzyme will be useful sort of proof of concept molecules that will tell us how this enzyme works and how it's really important in cancer cells. But equally importantly, if we can find inhibitors of this enzyme and they're toxic to breast cancer cells, but not toxic to normal cells, and we have preliminary evidence that this is the case, then this would serve as proof of concept that inhibitors of this enzyme could be useful as drugs in the treatment of this disease. And this is a disease that's really refractory to most, can to most chemotherapeutics. I mean, standard cancer drugs usually don't have much of an effect in the treatment of this disease. I have to give a lot of credit to my parents who recognized um, at a fairly early age that I was curious about most everything <laughs> and indulged that curiosity and really let me run with it. And I've been really that much, you know, that way ever since. I've, you know, curiosity really motivates me enormously. I'm just interested in how the world works, whether it's, my, you know, a car or the airplane that's flying above us or a cancer cell. And I think that science really is kind of a vocation. It's something that really calls you to do it, something that grabs you, pulls you in, um, doesn't let you go. And every time I um, see my patients, every time I tell a patient that we can't do more, that we can focus on treating their symptoms, but that we can't treat the cancer, I know I have to get back to the lab and work ever more hard. I mean, patients are a really, really, really phenomenal motivator for me. So when I first heard about the Damon Runyon Fellowship, I was very much surprised. I thought that the um, member of the Faculty Advisory Council who had called me was a telemarketer, and I had him on the phone for two or three minutes <laughs> trying to figure out exactly who he was <laughs> and um, why he was calling. And then I got the good news and really was um, just ecstatic. I um, was quite frankly very surprised. It's well known that this is one of the um, oldest, if not the oldest, and most prestigious um, postdoctoral fellowships out there. 